Welcome back, everybody, to the road show this morning in the buzz brought to you by the Comedy Connection. So this morning we're discussing the good old days when <laughs> we had summers off. Oh, I remember of. those days. But for many of us, these summers off came with jobs and not only to keep us busy, but to bring in some extra cash and build our resumes. That's right. So according to a variety of studies, lifeguarding is the number one most popular job in the, su in the summer. Pools are always busy, making it often the most available option as well. That's right. So a camp counselor comes in second, being a great option for people looking to work with kids in their future careers, and that's followed by pet walking or sitting. Mm -hmm. Come to my house. Other <laughs> uh, other jobs you might not have thought of are ride operators at amusement parks, which sounds like fun, mm -hmm. car wash attendants, or being a gardener. Now, mm -hmm. doing a pet sitting at Will's house comes with uh, pools. Pool? <laughs> Overnights, grill, cookouts, right? Cookouts. Not a bad job. Not a bad job when you come in house. <laughs> when you come in house, it was your first gig. My first job was a lifeguard at Agawam Hunt over in Rumford. That was good. And I was a camp counselor there as well, so it was kind of like a dual job. Right. I loved it. That's a good job. It was amazing. That's a good job. Good pay. I got tan. Right. You were outside all outside. summer, probably with a lot of friends that you would see all Tons summer. Tons of friends. Also, and if all I good. remember correctly, you got to either eat for free or like 50% off. Oh, that's good. So it was also right. awesome that way a too. Good thing. Too. Yeah, it was yeah. great. What yeah. about you? One of my first jobs was I worked at Paramount Card Company, which uh, was on the back street. I think it's Pleasant Street in Pawtucket. As you're making the bend, my mother knew someone who worked there, so it was me and a bunch of older ladies. Oh. They would put all of the cards, like regular, like reading cards, yeah. together. Yeah. They would put them in a smaller bo boxes and then put them in cardboard boxes. I would take the cardboard boxes, bring them into the the uh, the, the other room and and stack and them. stack them up. And then I worked at because I lived over near USA, the roller skating. Yeah. So I would go down the hill, and I would I would play the music while you were roller skating. See? Huh? I said that had it, to be a great job. Uh, Air conditioning. We did a story about maybe four years ago, and I went there, and it's it looks the same, but it was so, like, nostalgic to be back to there be in back. that little tower thing, and it was in, back when you play records. Yeah. Yes, and I loved it. Those are the I days. I, yes. mean, I, I have all my sons working at a snack bar this summer. Good gig. At, at Kembrin over in East Providence, and you know what? Like we said, it builds character. Right. Got to deal with the public. Gonna make food, right? Gonna make people happy. Sure. So it's you know, right. I don't know if it's like their dream job, right. but it's their summer. It's team a summer job. summer job. And then I also my one of my first other jobs was Burlington Coat Factory oh. on Newport Avenue. The one on Newport Did Avenue. Get a discount. I I think so. Oh. Yeah, I worked there in, in, in yeah Always good. in high school too. All right, Brandon, what was your first gig? <clears throat> I'm looking for something in a London fog. <laughs> yes, I, I could. Yeah, I could hook you up. That in a suit, I could hook you up. Burnley Coat, Newport Avenue. Do they still make London fog I jackets? I think they do. I think so. Yeah, 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 they yeah, do. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Should we take a field trip to yeah, Burnley right now? Yeah. We're gonna take a field trip. Be a yeah. trench coat. Sure. Uh, I remember I worked at Jamiel's Shoe World. Yes. That was fine. I, could, I loved it because I could get a discount on sneakers. Right. Did you measure feet? No, I worked in the stock room. Okay. So I was in charge of organizing the footwear by size. But you know, it taught me responsibility. I had to be somewhere, and more importantly, I got a discount on Jordan. That's great. Yeah. That's all I wanted when I was 15. Right. I'll tell you, that was a that was the place to go when it we was. were teenagers. Yeah. So you must have been busy. It's all I want now, actually, is right. a discount on footwear. <laughs> but yeah, it ta taught you a little something. Uh, you, you learned about responsibility, and yes, you learned a lot about people and dealing oh, with them. Oh yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> What do you mean you don't have this? I, I know I'm an eight and a half. Anyway, let's check in with our viewers to see what you had to say when it comes to summertime jobs. Greg is up first. I love this one. Oh, come on. I worked at Crescent Park. Oh, oh yeah. On the carousel for about three summers. It was the absolute best. Yes, that's a historical landmark, and I'm sure a fun place to work. Tracy adds, I was a beach bum. It's a real job taking care of children at the beach. <laughs> well, I guess you do have to keep an eye on them. You do. Yeah, you know. I guess so. In between trips to the so. snack bar where all these children are getting your <laughs> snacks. Making your burgers. Making Dennis burgers. Recalls, I trust William. recalls fondly, I worked in a factory, E.R. Hutchinson assembling point of purchase display cases. No AC. Oh, that's the worst. But lots of fun. Looking back on it, a bunch of high schoolers worked there. Yeah, you have memories. Yeah, it was hot, but everyone was there working together, and you look back fondly. And Tina closes off the comments today with a great memory. I worked at McCoy Stadium. Oh, yeah. For the Paw Sox for seven years. They were the best at seven summers oh. of my life. I bet you just... Just recall those times and you remember learning something in the friendships that you made. Thanks for chiming in, everyone. Please keep those comments coming. Follow us at The Roadshow on Facebook, X, and Instagram. And you never know, we may read your comment right here on the air. Ooh, so Ooh. close. Still back on this.